Okay, here I am at the um, Chelsea Hotel in Manhattan. Um, and today's visit is with Dutch artist Franz Franciscus. Hey, Franz. Um, Franz, just a, a couple of quick questions. Um, first of all, you're holding in your hand uh, a recent publication. Um, this is from your uh, Works of Mercy series. Yeah. Um, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, Try to speak up loud, please. Okay. Um, I just want to, could you say a few words about this series of work, the, the works of mercy? I was commissioned to make uh, a series of paintings, seven paintings, uh, on the theme, the uh, works of mercy. So, uh, lavish the thirsty, feed the hungry, we all know those, uh, those uh, uh, works of mercy. And I was asked to make seven large paintings, and the, the, the book is called Works of Mercy. Uh -huh. Seven works of mercy are within. So this is, for example, Lavish the Thirsty, and this is uh, Visit the Prisoners. It's all uh, uh, Bury the Dead. It's also uh, uh, a, a work of mercy, and it's all uh, surrounded with uh, 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 like 20 other paintings that have also a merciful sense in, in it. Mm -hmm. And your work um, quite often incorporates uh, Christian themes. Yes. But you're also known for being a bit of an atheist. <laughs> well, in fact, uh, the, it is not Christianity that uh, that is appealing to me, but it are the old paintings, old Western paintings from 6th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th century. I love, I have, I, I love those paintings, and I'm all, almost all, always uh, uh, inspired by those paintings. And those paintings, most of the times, have, have a religious or Christ, uh, Christian theme. Mm -hmm. So that's why I use those stories. I just retell those stories, and most of the times it's not with a, with a Christian philosophy, more a, 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 my own philosophy, and I make my own story out of it. But it, that's not how I come. It, it's not. That I want. I'm not very spiritual. I'm not a very spiritual man. I always I like to say I'm very sensitive, but I'm not very spiritual. And um, you also, we were talking um, earlier, and you had talked about how you consider yourself as a painter also a storyteller, uh, particularly a, a person who tells like um, vis you know stories in pictures. Yeah. Um, could you talk a little bit more about that process of, of being somebody who's because I know that originally, before you went to study painting, you, you did have ambitions to become a writer. No, no, that, no, no, I, I, that's, that's uh, not true. I was, uh, I studied Dutch. Uh, I did in university study uh, Dutch, believe it or not, that exists. There are only 20 million people that speak Dutch, but I studied Dutch. And that, that was because... I, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to hear any of this. Uh, because I love Dutch li literature, but not, I was never... Uh, I never planned to become a writer. I love to write. I love to read the books, but uh, not to write. Okay, but then uh, about this, getting back on this theme of being the storyteller. storyteller. How do you? How do you it's, feel? Again, I think it's because I love this, the old paintings so much. And old paintings are all about storytelling. Uh, it, the, not uh, not uh, Christian stories or biblical stories, but also. Uh, mythological stories or um, a story of a mother and child. I mean, I've, I've painted maybe already 30 of them. Uh -huh. and you can tell the story again and again and again. It's a little bit different or, and, and you get a whole other picture. This emotion is, I think, uh, very interesting and, and you can paint it again and again. Okay. Um, how was your visit here in New York? <laughs> My was let me let me be more specific, because uh, I know that you, you did go to some uh, contemporary art galleries. I did. Could you tell me a little bit about uh, how you felt about what you saw in the galleries, the quality of the work? Um, of course, the, the galleries in, in New York, comparing to where I'm from in Amsterdam, are huge. And I noticed that uh, they need huge uh, artworks to fill the huge walls. and. Uh, Often, not always, I must say, but often I, I notice that uh, 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 the, the artworks are huge because of the hugeness of that one. 